this kit has been kindly supplied to me by Fan Home. If you'd like to build your own, there's a link in the description below. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 16 of building Marvel's Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, this is the last of this month's delivery, so it might be a little wait after this one to the next one, but at least we get to do a little bit more of the thumb. We got part six of the thumb to build. It's working. It's getting there. I think this is not the final one, obviously, by a long way of the thumb, but we've got the basic bit put together, I think, now. Uh, looking at the game of chess. Doesn't look much like chess. I don't know who any of these people are. I really would we'll sit back and read these magazines at some point. But uh, yeah, I haven't got any of the backstory of any of the comics. There we go. Right, so we've got part six of the thumb to build more washers and more parts to put in. So we've got to build that on from last time, building surrounds around that, more washers, then connecting the thumb bit to it by the looks of it. And eventually it's all going together a bit like that. So uh, that will be how we look at the end of this build today. Uh, Mephisto, the evil one. Not uh, not a character that I'm familiar with, but it does look quite evil. Devil-like and smoky and fire. Never a good look for a hero. Um, Ron Mars, space scribe. He obviously does space-type stories and uh, things, I guess. By the way, they call him Space Scribe. I'm only assuming. Right, let me clear this out of the way and get this thumb put together. Okay, here we have the parts supplied in this issue. Quite a few, and one from before. I don't remember which one from before, but it's obviously the marrying part of that. Uh, so to start off with, we need at least one of these screws. So let's get that out. Uh, we are going to be putting this onto this. Uh, that way round, through there, through the washer. That fits in quite nicely, so I'm sure that's correct. Uh, this is the other side of it. It goes on there. Like that. I like. I do like that, yes. Uh, and this screw will go in there and hold that together. Like that. that all the way in and tight. You may notice if you're new to me watch, watching me do this, uh, I will tighten a screw and then go back a little bit and then tighten it down some more. It just helps ease the thread and break off any ex extra paint or anything, not in plastic, but on some parts, there may be some paint that will build up in the thread. It just breaks it off and makes it easier. I don't like to use oils and lubricants on screws because they're meant to be Sticky. They're not meant to be able to be undone easily. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Right, so then we put in a washer. There are four washers supplied on this one. One on there. And then we're bringing back in the thumb. And that's going ah, through there. Ah, I see how this is going together now. That is going through there, I believe. Yep, that's that one. That way. Go through there into there does it go all the way there we go that is that so there's some movement there not a lot but your thumb i mean your thumb's fairly articulated but not if it's in a big metal gauntlet like that it won't be will it uh right before we put the other side on we have this piece that's gonna go into there ah, there's a little hole there and a little pin there so that's gonna go in there that going Around there, all right, hang about. It says a thing about that. It's got to go in there. So that's got to go into that pin, into that hole, like that, which will again give us a bit of articulation. That's going in there. That is then lining up in there. And going on there. Is that it? Feels like that. It's got the ridge in there, but that's just to stop you seeing up inside the thumb. Uh, what is that trying to tell me? 
pointing towards the inside bit. Uh, okay, so the tab fits into D19, which is that bit. Yeah, so the tab has got to go into there. Let's have a look again. Let's pop that back out of there. That why we can see through this bit, I think. So we've got, and that won't go into there, but it will go right next to there. Underneath it, it won't go outside it. So that's just going to rest against the tip of that. With that on there, that in there, that gives it a sort of springy bit. Is that right? We'll find out when I get the other bit on, I think. So with that like that, we've got another washer. With those two back out of the way, that goes on there. Right, then we bring in this bit. That goes on there. Oh, I'm, I'm liking how this becomes massive very, very quickly. That on there, a bit like that. That bit sort of pinged off a little bit, but only a little bit. It will go back on, that's okay. We've got to go back in there. With that bit there. We've come back out of the way, right there we go. With that out of the way. I'm glad that we're starting this off on a, a small, you know, a small finger rather than a huge, you know, index finger or something like that. massive and that it? it really i mean the palm gave you a sense of the scale but the thumb really really does doesn't it so that is going on there uh and then we need the other two washers because this is going to go onto there so the two washers are going to drop into those holes there then we've got to get that lined up on there And the other end of this post into there. And that will tell us if we're right. I've dropped a washer from somewhere. Came out of there. Right. Try that again. Put that in there. And we'll try that again. If that goes on there. A bit like that. Not quite. I'm going to throw myself tipping it and then the washers are going to come out again. So I'm not sure. I'm just leaving it there. Getting those lined up. Um, we're going to be putting two more screws through those two holes anyway. Right, let's leave that off then. If that didn't want to stay, that's, that's fine. I can pop that in in a minute. Now that's not lined up right. Some reason oh, that's all just a bit. Let's try that again. I am going to dig that washer out from where it fell in and we'll see why that is not lining up. And I shall show you why it's not lining up in just a moment. Right, the reason I couldn't get that bit on was because I'd have bent that back. And this side is a little key in place. As you can see, a little knot there that will only go in one place on there. So that has to be in. A certain angle for that to locate on the top uh, so does that one which has only got a little bit of movement to it but is enough to make it have to be just right so that has to be there so you've still only got that little bit of movement which is fine that's all you need but I do need to get that bit in first because you've definitely not got enough room to play around with it once that's together. So I need to get this partially apart again, make sure that goes in the right place and then we'll see how it goes together. Right, that goes in at much more of an angle than I thought. That bit needs to come out of this gap, not right on the end of the thing. So it's actually in further. So it bends in more than it bends out, if you know what I mean. So that's that. That's why that wasn't working as that was intended. So then we need to Put the washer back on there. This bit goes back on there. 
Uh, the other side also has that notch, so I hadn't got that bit pulled down either when I thought I was doing this bit. So that goes on there. This then goes inside that. So we can get it on most of the way. Then we can get that inside, and then that should go on a little bit more, just like that. So then that's only got that little bit of movement. Then that's almost perfectly lined up already with this bit. The last bit of washer in there. So that should then line up over that. Those two go in there. That lines up with there already. And then we just need to get two more of these screws. In there. Which will hold that together naturally and correctly. And then things won't be able to escape. So I'm going to get these screws all tightened up, make sure everything's as it should be. And then we'll have a look at it in situ and see if we can figure out where the outside bits are going to fit and things like that. So I shall see you in just a sec. Right, that's that all together. The inside obviously is pretty armoured now. The outside less so. But there we go. That uh, does have, I say, a fair degree of articulation. The tip, just that little bit, and each of those just a bit. But it's enough to create some different poses. Uh, now I have had a look at the back of the hand. Uh, obviously this is the thumb. It's going to go about there. And I reckon these two posts are a little bit too closely related to that to not be where that's going to go. So that's going to fit on there like that. So that will go on about there like that. And that's going to go about there like that. It really is quite impressive. Um, I mean, I still can't get my head around the size of it, but when you see a thumb that's that size, it's, the, it's bigger than my hand. It really is going to be a lovely display piece, this. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, you can't wear it. The interior of the thumb, even if your thumb was big enough to fit, is occupied by the, the mechanics of having it articulated. But that is quite lovely. Feels like there should be a little bit more straightening movement, but I don't think it will go any straighter than that. But once that's attached to there, about there, that's probably about right. It will go in there's quite a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. And that is nice and substantial. It looks like some sort of insect. But can't wait till the next delivery when we almost certainly finish off the thumb, put the outside panels and figure out how that's going to attach. I really don't know. It's obviously that when there's a bit there that's like the thin thumb thing. So that's just going to clip on there. There's that one there for the inside, inside tip piece. And then this is going to go onto the outside there. I don't know which way around. I can't remember which way is which. So uh, whichever way around that has to go on there will be about there. It's good. But the wait now begins for the, the next delivery. So thank you for joining me on this delivery and this last issue from this delivery. I shall see you very soon for more. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye for now.